Hey everyone and welcome back to Serena's Toy Room and welcome to day 10 of 25 Days of Christmas with Serena and Glitzy. We are halfway through December and I'm already starting to run low on ideas and it might show in this video. Um, I wasn't really sure what to film until this morning when my mom asked me to clean the toy room upstairs. Not this toy room. Believe it or not, there's actually a second toy room in this house and it belongs to my siblings. Um, it's where they keep their toys and bins and all that. And it's definitely not as glamorous as mine, I'll admit. But yeah, the toys, they're kids, so they're just kind of carefree and they don't really think about organizing and stuff. So the toys are just always like thrown everywhere. And it's a nightmare for someone like me that always has to have my toys like neatly put away and such. I was going to do like a whole entire like declutter thing, but A, I got tired like half through and I decided to just like stop after like I'm doing a little bit of it and B, it's kind of difficult to film while you're trying to declutter because you can't really focus on both. So I kind of like stopped recording like halfway through some of the decluttering. I didn't really do a whole lot of decluttering today but I did fill a box up with some toys that I know for a fact they don't play with. I'm always with them when they're upstairs playing and stuff so I know what they do and don't play with so I'm not just donating stuff for the sake of donating. So um, yeah, I'll just roll the footage now. Here's a little glimpse of the corner. It's very scary. And we have a bunch of toys in those little bins as well. As you can see, all the toys are just thrown everywhere and it's horrible for me. So as you can see in this supposed doll carrying tote, it's just filled with a bunch of miscellaneous things. So I'm just organizing it a little bit and going through the dolls that my sister just doesn't play with. And a lot of them, unfortunately, are dolls that I've given to her and they're in pretty rough shape. So rather than them just staying in the sad state, I decided to donate them to someone who would actually enjoy them. So my sister had the wild idea to give this poor Nikki a haircut and the sad thing is I actually gave her this doll from my personal collection when I was going through some Barbies I had and stuff and um, yeah it's sad. So I'm just gonna take this doll back and use her as a body donor because this haircut is so not salvageable. Choo-choo with square wheels on your caboose. Or a water pistol that shoots jelly? Believe it or not, these bins are actually supposed to be organized for certain toys, but the kids, they just put whatever in whatever bins. And the two dolls that I found in this bin, I just put back in that little doll tote thing. And I'm just going through all the like miscellaneous toys that are in this bin, like McDonald's toys, or just toys I know for a fact they don't play with. And just putting them in the donation box. As you can see, the bin is now half empty. If we were to do this to all the bins, I could, would have gotten rid of so many of their toys, but I stopped about this point because I kind of got tired halfway. As a comparison, here's before and then here's after. It's not perfect, but it's worlds better than what it was before. So that was that. Um, I did fill up a whole box, but there's still a whole lot of toys in the other bins that I know are filled with stuff they don't play with and I 
plan to go through that at some point, but for now, I think we're okay. And I'm going to donate to them to Valley Village, where I know they'll be loved by other children. The thing with my siblings, I love them to death, but they just don't respect toys. They like want things for the sake of wanting things at the moment, and then like after a few days, they just forget all about them. There's only like a select amount of toys that they like actually play with and stuff, but a majority of their toys they just like never play with. They just sit in bins like rotting away pretty much, and I just feel like it's such a waste. Like. And this Christmas, I really want to, like, with my mom, I want to, like, tell her what's good to buy for them and what's not good to buy, because in previous years, we kind of, I noticed, kind of just giving them toys for the sake of more presents. But this year, I would really like for them to just receive things that they would genuinely play with and enjoy, rather than just something that they're going to get rid of within a few weeks and not care about anymore, you know? So... And it's also a good thing to do decluttering around this time of year, so it makes room for more toys that will come in through the Christmas season. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this random little video. I didn't really film a whole lot. It was kind of uninteresting, I feel, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it a little bit anyways, and taking a glimpse into the not-so-glamorous second toy room that is in this house. And until next time, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye, guys!